sing a little louder than before. I want to jump higher than before. Hi, I'm Jayla Grubbs. I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Um, as a child, I can remember growing up very poor. Um, my mom and my dad had separated, so it was kind of tough for my mom to raise seven kids on her own. Um, you know, she had to go out and get a job. She had a boyfriend at the time, but from about six to 10, um, I can remember being molested. And, you know, taking care of my, my younger siblings, it just put a lot of pressure on me, a lot of depression and anxiety, fear, frustration. Um, I lived a perverse lifestyle for a while. And, you know, carrying all these things during, th throughout high school, it just took a toll on my life. Um, I can remember getting into a relationship because I wanted to feel loved. I wanted to, I wanted that feel of um, a man's affirmation. And for those four years, it just really, it really brought a lot of anger inside of my heart towards my mom. Um, I was abused mentally, physically, and emotionally by this guy. And you know, I wanted to stay with him because I had hope for our relationship, but it, it just wasn't a healthy relationship. And my senior year, you know, I came to realize that that's not what I wanted anymore. And you know, I'm trying, I'm realizing my worth and who I am as a as a woman. And you know, um, getting out of high school, you know, I was still into drugs and perversion. Um, I've, I've always been into church, but I've never, I didn't have that church that fed me the correct way. So you know, I have moments of going into services and feeling the presence of God, and you know, being cleansed for that moment but not necessarily being made whole. So, you know, I, I've, I'm searching and, and seeking and doing all these things and not seeking the right thing, not seeking God. So I'm going into all these drugs to try to make myself feel good. Going from God to God to try to make myself feel good. Doing alcohol and all these things. And, and it, it really started to decay me from the inside out. Um, so, you know, I, my aunt was in the ministry as a singer and, um, you know, she introduced me to Eddie, and I remember going to a service and talking to one of the um, worship leaders, Dante Bo, and, you know, just telling him, um, you know, that I can sing and all these things. And, you know, it was a service, this, during the service, um, I felt the presence of God like I've never felt before. And in that moment, it just completely changed my life. And I've been here now for a year and two months, and God has just done so many great things. He has delivered me from um, depression, He's delivered me from anxiety, from fear. He replaced my fear with faith, and now I can just keep my eyes set upon Him and completely trust Him. So being able to completely trust God has just changed my whole perception on, um, you know, my faith and who God really is. And you know, I've, I've realized that there is definitely more to God, um, and I'm just grateful that God is not afraid to reach down and into the bottom, to the lowest of the low. And, and getting this this mud, this clay, and completely making something great out of it, you know. And I'm just grateful, so God bless you. Eddie James Ministries is looking to raise $200,000 in the next 30 days. Can you help? Whether you give $10, $100, or $1,000, every seed will reap a harvest of souls for the Lord. Let's work together to rescue the lost and shift a generation. Give today.